I am literally super, super duper duper excited about it. I'm so nervous. Okay. Becca was like, you're on. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. So we always start our power hours out with what we're grateful for. So you want to take like two minutes post on your story or send a message to someone that you're grateful for. Um, I sometimes take a picture of myself and write a few things that I'm grateful for or take a picture of my kids, one of those things. So you want to do that for the next two minutes and then yeah, I'm so excited. I'm serious. I'm like super nervous. It's totally fine. Okay, so now I will do birthdays. So I usually send them a little personalized video or you could send them a voice message. It's always better to send something that's more personal than putting it on their timeline because how many do they get? They get a bunch on their timeline. So you're gonna want to send that. I've actually recently taken a picture of myself and wrote like a personalized message on it. Like, hey, happy birthday. Hope you have a great day, just as awesome as you are. So I've done that before. So I have a pre-recorded video that I'm going to send to people. So if you want to do that, you can. Um, I always suggest to make it as personable as personable as you can, <laughs> and that will make it, you know, shows them that they you actually, you know, care about them and not like happy birthday, you know. All right, well, I'll take the next five minutes to do that. Start recording people. I have so many birthdays.
And then if you, um, I just love this. If you um, have birthdays that you didn't get to yesterday and you don't have a few, um, don't have as many as a, um, today as you did yesterday, I would just, you know, um, wish them like a belated birthday, you know, cause they probably got a bunch of messages yesterday. So I, I usually go to those people if I finish faster within five minutes, I'll just keep going down to whatever ones I have not reached out to. Cause I am totally, I, I missed them yesterday. How's everyone doing? Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now that we are done with our awesome birthday, um, I will say we're going to go to like Facebook stories. We want to go on to your Facebook story. So on the top of mine, I have all of these are my stories and you want to scroll all the way over or you can hit show all, but I, I just scroll. And then you go to the ones that you don't see as much and you want to whatever ones like, you know, like I'm all about like cute little babies. So like, <laughs> I was like, oh, look how sweet, how old is she? You know, like open-ended questions that, you know, get your conversations going. So we'll like spend five to like eight, 10 minutes doing that. Cause I know there's probably a bunch and we'll see how many we can get through. Mm -hmm. 
And don't get trapped into watching them all. Because <laughs> I always, I sometimes I do, and I'm like, why am I still watching the same person? Oh, and if you have uh, prove it people like provers that are like on your team or you have people that are drinking ketones, you can actually mute their story so that there's more room for the other people. So because they're not as not so be mean, they're not as, you know, important as the other people. I guess I follow a lot of famous people. And I always meet the ones that like you can't even react to because there's no point of it being in your story if you can't do anything with it. over here. Jalapeno chips. Did you know yesterday was National Mud Day? I didn't know.
I never knew how many people were on my stories that drink ketones. <laughs> I've already muted a bunch before. Now I'm re-muting. <laughs> I'm an Can you guys hear the music? Now, I think we are done with that. All right, so we just warm, we just went through a story. So I would say that, you know, we have that big summer heat patch. Um, has everyone posted about that on their story recently? Like put a one in the comments because um, we should put that in our story with a poll, like, Put that in there like you know you save seven 117 dollars you get this amount and then like all that great stuff so um if you have put it in there put um a poll in there if you haven't i recently put it in there last night and i've actually gotten a few orders from there and i'm like what um you always want to put those things um it's always best um <clears throat> oh my gosh i'm like flabbergasted you want to always put those in there because that's a big savings, let alone from what I've been hearing you and your customer get entries in to some um, prizes next month. So it helps you get into July. So I would suggest getting that all in there. So if you want, you can just like take a picture of like you holding those flavors. I don't have blueberry ashi or heart tart on me. So I had to use just regular I had to use a picture from online, but if you put that on there and say, holy moly, look, I can, you know what, if you grab all these three, you can save so much money, blah, 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 and you can get entered into win something. Would you want more information? And then your poll say yes, and then info or link or whatever you want to say. So if you want to take like a couple minutes and just post that on there. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna go, cause I already did that. I want to do, I wanna warm up my um, newsfeed on my Facebook. Yeah, I, I heard about that last night. Is that true? I heard that, right? Okay, okay, yes, okay. I was just gonna say, I'm like, I swear I read that, yes. Um, you get an entry if they if your customer orders it you get an entry and they get an entry so i think that's amazing um i had two customers order it this morning so that's like two entries in for me and i'm like what crazy so i'm gonna go and warm up my news feed of facebook and then i think we should probably we'll do something else after so you want to scroll down after you post that let me know and then we, we, we can go on to the next thing or if you've already done it if you've already posted on your story i would say hey okay um go and scroll your not scroll but go down in your news feed and look for things that interest you okay you want to make sure that you can find things that interest you in on your thing and you want to like and comment with an open-ended question um and that will help your you know your new feed and all your algorithm rhythm i can't even speak it. so you want to do that um we can take like five minutes uh what did i say five minutes i post i wrote all this down so i don't want to miss anything we could do like five to ten minutes or so like i'm thinking five to ten minutes of warming up our new feed unless you think that we should just do five but um 
you can do five if you're posting to your story. I'll do 10 because I'm doing um, I already posted it to my story. Okay. And can you hear the music? Alexa, volume five. And while we're doing all these, you do not want to, like, you know, we um, did birthdays. Do not respond. This is going to help you have work for the rest of the day. So don't respond to anything until later, until power hour is over. Okay. And if you find that people are like part of your team on your yes, we like we love our team members, but you want to open up your newsfeed for um, more people. So you're going to want to unfollow those people. Not like you're unfriending them, you're just snoozing them. You can snooze them for 30 days or you can unfollow. Whatever suits your fancy. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, my jam. If I start singing, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this one time I used my, um, someone was using it and I was like, oh, <laughs> it's I talking to my, mine was listening to theirs. Hi, baby. I'm, we're listening to 90s pop. 90s are my jam. <laughs> oh, 
how my husband felt on them. This is my jam jam. Oh, I literally forgot what I was doing. <laughs> I started scrolling while singing. This, if you ever get into that scroll mode, all the time. All right. Okay. So I warmed up my new speed. I don't know if you did, but I did. All right. Do you want to do Facebook group? like search some groups and go into our groups because I feel like I'm I'm failing at the groups honestly at least I'm honest so if you want to go into your phone because I'm using my phone luckily I have this tablet to use this because if I didn't I would have to shut my camera off a million times so I just go in I hit my little three little dots I go into my group now I got phone calls coming so you you have your group and you can discover groups. So like I go and you can search groups. Like I just joined a keto recipe for beginners and like just some keto groups or low carb groups. You can join those. If you're into fitness, hiking, look for those type. I am a pit bull mom. I have a blue nose pit bull. So I'm part of a lot of pit bull um, groups and I'm in stay at home mom groups and mom groups because that I'm home with them. I'm not, I don't stay home just with them. I work from home, but whatever. Um, I would just search things that you're into and then start joining these groups. And then once you start, are actually joined, um, I would um, start looking at the people that are in there, like their posts and like, see if you like, like you want to start reacting to them, like like and comment, and then you want to add them because that's going to help you get your your messages going, your conversation started. Because this is all about building conversations and starting those, and you want to keep getting more and more conversations every day for your business to grow. Wow. And we can do that for like. five to 10 minutes. Oh, look, I just joined the keto low carb life. I look for these public ones for some apparent reason. I thought I'd be way more nervous than I am. And you know, you could actually post or perform better in one of these keto or low carb diet thing uh, groups. And like, say, like, don't mention, of course, ketones. That's totally bad because you'll probably get banned. But you can totally put your like, you know, 
what happened, you know, six months or seven months, like in like the past seven to eight months, I've lost 45 pounds of fat being semi low carb, but I could totally, you know, you could just make yourself your before and better. Like I have an amazing before and better recently. So I can, I'm going to put that in my thing because I've been doing low carb and ketones. I'm not going to mention the ketones. I don't know if you want to do that, you can, that's actually going to help you build more conversations anyway. What else should I do? Alexa. Yeah. Oh, look at that. We're trying all these ones. Stay at home mom. Reality of stay at home mom. That sounds like a good one. I joined some like F bomb mom group because I swear a lot. Oh, that's a good one. Staying at home, adulting together. I'm adulting every day lately. My husband's home on lunch. Okay, so I think that, how are you guys doing with that? Do you need more time? Are you good? Okay, so I'm thinking that we can go hop onto our Instagram because, yeah, we haven't done that yet. Um, first, we can do is um, go hop onto our Instagram and we can warm up our newsfeed like we did for our Facebook. So you're going to want to look like, seriously, the first Becca. Stop. That is the best picture ever. I don't ever unfollow Becca because. She's like, 
Okay, so like you're gonna want to scroll and see, you know, if something is. You know, interest you like this girl just shaved her head. She had a whole head full of hair. Holy moly cannoli. So you know, like things that interest you. Like I'm a I'm a hairdresser, so that interests me. So like people, I have I follow some groups, some um people that do hair. But like you know, like keto meals. You want to make sure like you know, like this is cute. It says best friends. So you like you like, and then you want to like comment an open ended question. Oh, cool. Um, an open-ended question or like that. Um, you want to shake your head? Don't shake your head. I can't. Um, I'm saying let's do the new, let's do the feed first, and then we can go into our um stories after. So I always like to like, comment, an open-ended question so that that will cause them to respond, and then you can start a conversation. Oh, oh my god, I, I just realized I don't know how to spell. I wrote, this is upset cute. It says super cute. Alexa, yeah, that's some sexual jams. And then if you find that you're following a bunch of, um, you know, provers, unfollow them. <laughs> well, unfollow them on here. So like, I don't unfollow her, but like, you know, you can mute them, just mute them. You don't unfollow because Instagram's all about following. <laughs> Bye, Sherry. Just make sure you finish your demo. Like I'm the boss. <laughs> I could totally do this every day now that I've done it. I don't even know.
Okay, so now we can um, go and, oh, I don't feel that. Um, if you're in a position to put your camera on, could you do so? And we should do a post, we should make a story post that, you know, we're do a boomerang and we can do, um, we're in this, we're, do the, we're in the business for ourselves, but not by ourselves and put that on there and we put that so that people can see our community of what we are, who is in our community and all of our support. <laughs> so if you're in that, if you can do that, put your camera on. Oh. So many pretty faces, especially yours, Jamie, I see you. And then after that, we can do our stories for Instagram. Since we are doing that already. I'm Sweaty Betty. Oh, please. Sweaty Betty. You the best. I'm sweaty, Betty. Look at my hair. It's so frizzy from all this humidity. My house is not happy. All right, so we're going to hop on and we're going to go back and we're going to go to our stories just like we did before. Yeah. I went outside. You're dead in your PJs, see? All right, we're going to go to our Instagram stories and we're going to do the whole thing that we did with our, um, oh my gosh brain um like what we did with our facebooks and we're gonna scroll all the way over right so the ones that we don't you know react to or watch the most like you know i'll pick one and then you'll react to it you can do a quick reaction but that's not as personable as writing an open-ended question so you're going to want to do that so that it will open up a conversation so you can start that conversation that's what i would do and that's what i'm going to do for the next five minutes. Did you hear my kids? I'm so sorry. Daddy came home and they were so fine this whole time. <laughs> I have my girls here. Oh, and I'm part of a bunch of like chicken groups because I got 11 chickens. So I always like to react to them. And I like to show them that. And then like, what else am I part of? There's so many that you can actually react to. And I've been like really looking for like more groups of how to train a dog because um, I need to start going gung ho on training while I'm home with my baby. Okay. Oh. That was sad. Um, I think last night I posted in my story let me see, about um, that flavor that's coming out. You know, that one. Let me see. So like I did, you know, snow cone. We all know it's coming eventually. Um, and then I put like, what flavor is this? And then they can type their answer. I don't know if you can see it, it's too bright, but you can um, type in like a question, like what is this flavor? And then they can type in and then they can start reacting. They can write it and then you get a message. So that's like starting another whole conversation, which I thought that was pretty sweet. I didn't even think to do that until last night. And I was like, where have I been these past seven months? Not here. <laughs> Oh, and I learned that, um, so 
last week's power hour I was on with Becca and she did she had us write messages to Brian Underwood like um gratefulness to him and I never thought that he would write back well he did and if you're feeling open to that you can do that too because I am so grateful for this community I'm grateful for approve it I'm grateful for so many things that comes with this whole business and I sent that to him and he told me some great things so you never know um so you never know you know like you never think the ceo is actually going to write back and i think that is like literally amazing because i told my husband and he's like what i was like yeah you should I'll look at Becca again. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. I can't believe I'm going to a wedding. I'm going to so many weddings. I wrote getting married. Yeah, I wanna do, baby. All these babies are getting so big. One more minute. And then I want to search hashtag. That's like really hell has helped me a lot with finding my people. Okay, so for the next few minutes, I'm thinking the next five, like, I don't know, let's do six minutes so then we have a minute to say bye or whatever. Um, let's search hashtag. So like, what are your interests? Like, let's add, like, follow people that are like, oh, look, it's time up. <laughs> show, if you show interest in the same things that you are, like, I'm a pit bull bomb. It's just like looking for groups on, um, Facebook, but it's a little bit different. Um, so I usually search like more pit bull mom things. And um, like you can look up keto life, you can look up fitness, pretty much anything you can look up. And I would go and I would go into it. I will show you what I do. So I go into the search. And then I don't know if you can see that, right? Shit, yeah, see, I'm a pit bull mom, you're a shih tzu mom, it's fine. And if you're a rescue dog mom, or if you're just a cat person, I have a cat, his name is Trouble, and he gets in a lot of trouble. Okay, so I did mental health awareness because I've been having a really hard time with my mental health. Suicide has been really killing me lately, like, like losing my brother-in-law has like just the word freaks me out. So I've been looking up those people like keto meals. You just hit that hashtag. And then you just put in whatever you want and then you search for it. Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh. So I love, I'm, I'm literally have become a dog mom. Yeah, I've been having a really hard time. I don't know. I, it's been rough, but it's okay. I'm going to make it through. I always do. Ooh, bird. My uh, mother-in-law has a, I don't know, some parrot thingy. Oh, <gasps> Heather, you know what you need to try? It's Cabana Falls wine in Peterborough, New Hampshire. My family owns it. Well, my family's name's on it, so I don't own it. Well, yeah, look at you can do hashtag wine mom. I don't drink wine anymore though, but you can do that. And then you'd follow. I always follow that first. And then you go and you find something that interests you. Like this person 
like just anything you follow it and then you go to their page and you you want to uh, like like a few like three i say like three to five posts like and comments on them it's basically you're like showing them love too so that's what i would do is i would go and find what i'm looking like what i'm interested in, follow them what whoever i like to follow but i'm like i don't even know Like I have a blue nose pimple. I wonder if that's a one. I never looked. Oh, look, 630,000 posts. Wow. You can do the recent ones. You can always go click on the recent ones. Like, look at, like, so I do that. It reminds me of my dog when he was a puppy. I'm like, oh, how old is your puppy? So precious. Like it, it starts up the conversation. And I would do that to like a bunch of ones that like interest you. So like, I'm all about people that like show pictures of them and their dog. Like I cuddle my dog, like it's going out of style. I cuddle my dog more than I do my husband. Okay. He's my, like, I have a king size bed. And my dog sleeps between us. Oh, that was so good. This person wrote, I have found that when I'm struggling with my pain, there are things I get from the silent devotion companionship of like their dog. Oh, melts my heart. And then if there's anything that you haven't um, had enough time to do, just go back into your DMO list. I know I didn't get into, I was gonna do a green light challenge, but you go onto your messenger and whoever's active, you scroll all the way down to the ones that you don't talk to that much and you send them a message that says, hey, whoever they are, I've seen that you're online and I wanted to say hello and how have you been? Like, it's been a really long time since we've talked. And that could open up the question, um, open up some conversations and i have found like dawn told me that like if you write to them and they do not respond and they just read it unfriend them they're a waste of your space because if they can read it and they're not going to respond even i even give them a whole day to respond and then i start unfriending or just like don't message them again that's what i do i gotta say this is literally <laughs> such a good time. Thank you, Becca, for letting me do this. I will definitely do this again. Um, yeah, so that was pretty much it. <laughs> You're so welcome, Heather. I miss you. Team White, that's us. I miss you. Seriously, I have grown so much since Arizona. You're welcome. I love you too. I hope everyone has an amazing day. That this was the best time ever. My kids actually listen and we're quiet. So I hope I get to do this again because I now found my love for talking, staring at myself and talking to you. Thank you. All right. I hope everyone has a really, really good day.